a mathematical modeling problem where we're trying to model um, price for ticket at a baseball stadium with the average number in attendance. So the information that we're given here, we know the ticket price at $8 has an average attendance of 28,000 spectators. But then if we drop it down to $5, that goes along with 33,000 spectators. And our goal on this is to come up with a demand function, D of Q, where Q is gonna be the quantity or the number of spectators. And the other important piece of information we know is D of Q is linear. So that means it's gonna be modeled basically as a line. So setting this information up, let's be very careful that we know D of Q is gonna output a P value, meaning that our input is gonna be a Q and our output is gonna be a price so quantity input, price output. So that order matters because sometimes the demand function is set up so our quantity is the input value. Sometimes it's set up so the price is the input value. So make sure you have the correct order going on as you're setting this up. The next thing is this is linear. So basically we have two ordered pairs. We have the blue pieces of information that go hand in hand. We have a quantity of 28,000. Goes along with a price of eight. And we have the red information where a quantity of 33,000 goes along with a price of $5. So as I set this up, what I'm gonna do is treat this as Q1 and P1, Q2 and P2. And the reasoning being is we know it's linear. This is gonna fit into the format as Y equals MX plus B. However, our variables are a little bit different this time where our output is gonna be P and our input instead of being an X like it normally is, is going to be a value for Q. And that's based on D of Q equals P. All right. So first things first, let's go ahead and try to set up the slope of this line. Now, normally that'd be Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. But this time, based on those variables, I'm going to write out as P2 minus P1 over Q2 minus Q1. Now filling in with the, what I've labeled up above, I can say five minus eight over 33,000 minus 28,000. So negative three over 5,000 is gonna be the slope of this line. All right, so we can input that in over here. We have P equals negative three over 5,000 times Q plus B. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and just use this Y equals MX plus B, the slope intercept format, instead of pulling out the point slope form. All right, from here, what I want to do is I want to input one of these two ordered pairs. I'm going to go ahead and choose uh, the 33,000 goes along with five. So that second ordered pair that's in red up above, and I can say a price of five goes along with a quantity of 33,000. So kind of filling in for P and filling in for Q appropriately. Now we have one equation that only has one unknown, one variable there being the B. So let's try to solve for that B. So I'm going to treat the 33,000 as though it's up in the numerator. And when I multiply 1,000 here, cancels out with 1,000 in the denominator. And then we're going to multiply the numerators together. Negative 99, three times 33, over five times one. All right, what remains is we still need to get B on one side all by itself. So I'm gonna have to add that 99 fifths to the other side. Um, but we have five plus 99 fifths. What I wanna do is get a common denominator. So I'm gonna treat that five as five over one and I'm gonna multiply numerator and denominator both by five um, to accomplish this goal. So that's gonna make five times five for the numerators is 25 over five times one for the denominator. So 25 fifths is equivalent to that five that was on the left-hand side, plus 99 fifths is gonna be 124 fifths for our value for B. Let's take that back up here to where we were creating our equation and now we have P equals negative three over 5,000 times our quantity Q 
plus 124 over 5. Now you may choose to designate this as D of Q instead of P because we said that those were equal kind of in the very top left thing that I wrote down. Just depending on how you want to format your, your solution, but these are equivalent based on what we've been working on. So that's going to be what we want to look for. Make sure you understand if it's linear, that it just means a line. So you're going to need to find a slope along the way, plug that in, and then use an additional point. Where most people go wrong on this is they're not very careful about what our input and output values are. When you're setting up these ordered pairs, you have to remember based on how they define D of uh, the demand function, it could be a quantity being plugged in or it could be a price being plugged in. So get the right order. All right, hope this helps. Good luck.